stomach for hurting all morning. She said she got gas. She can't even walk. You got some remedies. Um, I think you should stick your finger in her butt and relieve it. Like that way. You relieve it naturally by like sticking what? your finger. Hold on, what? We don't do anal play. <laughs> oh. He was in the band and I held it in all morning. I really tried to let it out. Yo, it, you're, I can't wait till you be on a show long what? enough to where you embarrass yourself the way I do. Did I say something about some Well, fart honey, time? I'm down with the farts, honey. I do it all the time. No. I fart around my husband all the time, like loud farts. My farts is louder than his. Shut up. I'm good with no, it. Shamari. I'm so good Your with it. Self. My little bitty self has the loud farts. But okay? did this start and, but when he, you were pregnant? No, it, it started way before I was pregnant. Honey. I, you know, we was together like 17 years already, so I had already started Shamari, farting probably you ain't like right now. year number seven. Girls year don't number do that. three. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't right, Shamari. Put some of that decade on it. <laughs> I only do it because. I can't help it. I, it's PJ's fault, okay? Like, I literally can't. Like, if I've already gotten up out of bed like 10 times, do you really want me to get all the way up, walk all the way to the bathroom just to pass a little gas? <laughs> Right. I always tell him, I say, baby, it's not me, it's PJ. Yes, blame it on PJ, blame then on you get PJ. a pass. Yeah, put it on <laughs> PJ, child. He got to just deal with it. I mean, I'm pregnant. I mean, my aunt told him, my aunt said, listen, Dennis, you have to give Portia some passes, you know, right. because this isn't her norm. Like, you know, normally I would never do that. I stopped him from doing it around but me. But sometimes you can't control it. It just seeps out anyway, you know what I mean, saying? but if it's no baby, I can hold it. But <laughs> I, I, I'm telling you, I don't like that. Like, he was doing that when we first, first got together. And I just, you know, I just got up the guts and I said, listen, please don't do that anymore. <laughs> like, I don't like that. Wait, he farted? He passed gas around <laughs> me when we first got together. And I was like, babe, I don't, I, let's not. I won't do it around you, you don't do it around me. But now that I'm pregnant, I mean, what can I say? Because I do it. Right. You should always think of me as like flowers and sunshine, not like, you know, <laughs> booty sweat. So. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's a backhand compliment. Well, it's like saying, oh be... yeah, you hot now, but you wasn't before you well, met well, her. Well, he wasn't hot before he got with you. When my mother and I were talking and they were filming us. She was like, well, he wasn't making the money that he's making now. I think when she was saying it, some of the crew that were filming, they were getting offended as well. The production. Because <laughs> Todd, he was, you know, part of the production prior right. to him being on, on Housewives with me. Right. He, was behind the scenes, and right. so she was basically talking about people who do production. Right, which is a like, legitimate job that pays which money. Which most of those guys around us are making six figures right. or more, you exactly. know what I mean? After it, some of the guys came up to her and was like, Mama Joyce, we love you, but Todd was our boss. They just kind of like were speaking up for him to say like, it wasn't like he was just some guy when she actually had to sit with Todd face to face and, and Todd said he's, his piece, you know, she couldn't do anything but respect it. I love you and I am so proud of you. I didn't meant for it, but I said to be offended. I'm sorry. Well, here's the thing, just because she gave birth to a boss doesn't mean that everybody is a boss out the gate. Yeah. I mean, a job in production is a very legitimate job. supposed to be Nini and I, and it became Nini and Friends. Ooh. Yes, Marlo. Of all the people to surprise you shopping, she brings Marlo. Eva is getting married. I had my huge wedding, and I got married, and that wasn't that long ago, and this was my bride mate. What did you really and, bring and me along was a, for? She was trying to become a bride, <laughs> and I know how difficult it, but I knew Marlo knew fashion, because Marlo helped me, you know, with my, with my wedding, and the looks that we should have. I knew she had a good eye. Marla's never been married, so the, just saying there's no expertise there. I'm like, I want to be whimsical and I want to be fairy-like. And she's like, honey, you need to push them up. You need something tight. You need to bling. You need to cut out oh hair. And I'm like, gosh, Girl. that must have been crazy. Yeah, it was. There was a lot of tool and a lot of sparkle. Ooh. And there, there were definitely some choice words. Ooh. I love the highline, but it gives me so prom. You know, listen, Marla was given a lot. 
So, you know, you, you, but I But you did agree a, with what I yeah, said. It's very hard because every bride want to, you want everything to be perfect. And then you know what? And Marlo true. doesn't even understand that. She's just No, I do. Girl. She's the girl. Let me tell you. Nini, she loves girls. She's a girl's yeah. girl. She wants everyone to come around and be happy. Yeah. And if she, like, Eva comes around and she's being nice to Eva, like, oh, I don't want to hurt her feelings. I'm like, why the hell are you not calling her out? She's fucking lying. The dresses look awful. I just want 10 pounds off. Both bitch, heads. you need to fucking stop, we both bitch, our heads with your big ass booty and, and ginormous did. ass we hips, bitch, eating cake, <laughs> sandwiches, ice cream late at night, going to the gas station for oh potato God, chips, <laughs> lollipops. I was smaller than Marlo at my heaviest than Marlo was at her smallest. <sighs> but she thinks I need to lose 10 pounds. And the circumference of her ass is the size of this table. But I mean, <laughs> and, and I reminded her of that there because I guess she forgot putting her pants on that morning. It was so <sighs> weird. I think Nene realized we were getting a little bit off track and she went ahead and brought it on back and reminded Marlo that she could use a, a Atkins or a keto diet herself. <laughs>